Newark Mayor Roz Baraka stood in front of the city's first police precinct station house Wednesday to formally announce a city ordinance targeting white supremacy, racism, and discrimination on the job among city employees. People can change policy when I leave, but it is a little more difficult to change the law. The new ordinance, which we reported earlier this month, was passed by the city council and also includes the closure of this precinct station house. It remains a painful reminder of the unrest, violence, and death as the location where the 1967 Newark Rebellion began. Newark Public Safety Director Good Anthony everyone. Ambrose. I'm happy to hear that this precinct is being closed down and, and made into something that's going to be the communities because no good things ever happen here. No justice! As we also reported earlier this month, at the height of the protests following George Floyd's killing under a police officer's knee, <laughs> Baraka is taking 5%, or about $12 million, from the Newark Police Department's budget to help establish the new Office of Violence of Prevention and Trauma Recovery. The new office will, among other things, dispatch social workers out into the field to respond alongside and sometimes in place of police officers. So at 1 o'clock in the morning, if people have an issue, they don't have to call the police. They can call the social worker to come out, particularly if they have issues around mental health, the child that is an incorrigible, dr drunken individual, homeless person. Because a social worker probably can deal with those issues a lot better than a person with a gun. Retired Newark attorney and civil rights right activist now, Junius here. Williams. But this building will be forever known for what will not happen here again. We will not have war on the people. We will have instead a combined operation, including the police, to prevent crime to prevent violence, to prevent disturbances. Mayor Baraka could not say exactly how many social workers would be placed on the job as a result of this new funding, but he says that those positions would not be placed just here at the first precinct station house, but across the city of Newark. We're live in Newark this evening. Jay Dow, PIX11 News.